in signal processing, a comb filter adds a delayed version of a signal to itself, causing constructive and destructive interference. The frequency response of a comb filter consists of a series of regularly spaced spikes, giving the appearance of a comb. Applications Comb filters are used in a variety of signal processing applications. These include cascaded integrator or Euro comb filters, commonly used for anti aliasing during interpolation and decimation operations that change the sample rate of a discrete time system. 2D and 3D comb filters implemented in hardware for PAL and NTSC television decoders. A filters work to reduce artifacts such as dot crawl. Audio effects, including echo, flanging, and digital waveguide synthesis. For instance, if the delay is set to a few milliseconds, a comb filter can be used to model the effect of acoustic standing waves in a cylindrical cavity or in a vibrating string. In astronomy the astrocomb promises to increase the precision of existing spectrographs by nearly a hundredfold. In acoustics, comb filtering can arise in some unwanted ways. For instance, when two loudspeakers are playing the same signal at different distances from the listener, there is a comb filtering effect on the signal. In any enclosed space, listeners hear a mixture of direct sound and reflected sound. Because the reflected sound takes a longer path, it constitutes a delayed version of the direct sound and a comb filter is created where the two combine at the listener. Technical discussion, comb filters exist in two different forms, feed-forward and feedback. The names refer to the direction in which signals are delayed before they are added to the input. Comb filters may be implemented in discrete time or continuous time. This article will focus on discrete time implementations. The properties of the continuous time comb filter are very similar. Equals feed forward form equals. The general structure of a feed forward comb filter is shown on the right. It may be described by the following difference equation. Where is the delay length, and is a scaling factor applied to the delayed signal? If we take the Z-transform of both sides of the equation, we obtain. We define the transfer function as frequency response. To obtain the frequency response of a discrete time system expressed in the Z domain, we make the substitution. Therefore, for our feedforward comb filter, we get. Using Euler's formula, we find that the frequency response is also given by. Often of interest is the magnitude response, which ignores phase. This is defined as. In the case of the feedforward comb filter, this is. Notice that the term is constant whereas the term varies periodically. Hence the magnitude response of the comb filter is periodic. The graphs to the right show the magnitude response for various values of, demonstrating this periodicity. Some important properties, the response periodically drops to a local minimum, and periodically rises to a local maximum. For positive values of, the first minimum occurs at half the delay period and repeat at even multiples of the delay frequency thereafter. The levels of the maxima and minima are always equidistant from 1. When, the minima have zero amplitude. In this case, the minima were sometimes known as nulls. The maxima for positive values of coincide with the minima for negative values of, and vice versa. Impulse response, the feed-forward comb filter is one of the simplest finite impulse response filters. Its response is simply the initial impulse with the second impulse after the delay. Polio Euro Zero interpretation, looking again at the z-domain transfer function of the feed-forward comb filter. We see that the numerator is equal to zero whenever. This has solutions, equally spaced around a circle in the complex plane. These are the zeros of the transfer function. The denominator is zero at, giving poles at. This leads to a Polio Euro Zero plot like the ones shown below. Equals feedback form equals. Similarly, the general structure of a feedback comb filter is shown on the right. It may be described by the following difference equation. If we rearrange this equation so that all terms in are on the left-hand side, and then take the z-transform, we obtain. The transfer function is therefore frequency response. If we make the substitution into the z-domain expression for the feedback comb filter, we get. The magnitude response is as follows. 
Again, the response is periodic, as the graphs to the right demonstrate. The feedback comb filter has some properties in common with the feedforward form, the response periodically drops to a local minimum and rises to a local maximum. The maxima for positive values of coincide with the minima for negative values of, and vice versa. For positive values of, the first minimum occurs at zero and repeats at even multiples of the delay frequency thereafter. However, there are also some important differences because the magnitude response has a term in the denominator, the levels of the maxima and minima are no longer equidistant from one. The maxima have an amplitude of. The filter is only stable if is strictly less than 1. As can be seen from the graphs, as increases, the amplitude of the maxima rises increasingly rapidly. Impulse response The feedback comb filter is a simple type of infinite impulse response filter. If stable, the response simply consists of a repeating series of impulses decreasing in amplitude over time. Polio Euro Zero Interpretation Looking again at the z-domain transferred function of the feedback comb filter. This time, the numerator is zero at, giving zeros at. The denominator is equal to zero whenever. This has solutions, equally spaced around a circle in the complex plane. These are the poles of the transferred function. This leads to a polio euro zero plot like the ones shown below. Equals continuous time comb filters equals comb filters may also be implemented in continuous time. The feedforward form may be described by the following equation. Where is the delay? This has the following transferred function. The feedforward form consists of an infinite number of zeros spaced along the G-permal axis. The feedback form has the equation. And the following transferred function. The feedback form consists of an infinite number of poles spaced along the G-permal axis. Continuous time implementations share all the properties of the respective discrete time implementations. See also, filter, digital filter, for Bureau Par copyright rot interferometer. References <laughs>